Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, but more specifically about the S Pen and all of its features, its settings, along with a few hidden tips and tricks. Now, if you're just now joining in with this video and you did not watch the video from yesterday, I will have a link below this video because yesterday we covered everything to deal with the S Pen Bluetooth remote. Now, because the S Pen of the Galaxy Note 9 does have two completely distinct functions, one of them is a Bluetooth remote and the other one is the normal everyday standard S Pen features and settings and everything else. That is why this is split into two videos. So if you did miss yesterday's video, go below this video inside the description. You will see a link, click on that video and you'll be able to check this one out as well. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now that we've covered all of the S Pen Bluetooth remote functions and the settings, how about we go over a couple of the different hidden features, tips, and tricks before we head over into the settings of the S Pen. The first one I do want to talk about is something that is super helpful on an everyday day-to-day -day basis if you're somebody who takes a lot of notes. If you press and hold on the S Pen button and you do a double tap on the screen, it will open up the quick note at any given point in time. So let's say that you're inside of YouTube or a different application, maybe you're in Facebook, maybe you're on a phone call and they're giving you a confirmation number that you do need to write down, no matter the application will happen and work every single time. So for example, let's say we go inside of YouTube, we're watching a video, they mentioned something extremely important and you wanna write something down or jot something down. Press and hold on the S Pen button, double tap on the screen. You're still able to watch and listen and then you go through your notes, write down everything you need to, then you'll be able to hit on save. Another hidden feature is inside of the gallery and let's say that there's a chunk of images you'd like to delete or share or move it to a different folder. If you press and hold on the S Pen button and you basically highlight a whole section, this is a way you'd be able to share, delete, or you can move to a different folder. Folder. Now the third hidden feature is going to be inside of the Samsung Notes and let's say that you go right over here You want to create a brand new note if you go inside of the brush settings over here on the left hand side You have all these different brush utensils or pens calligraphy pens everything else If you go over to the oil paintbrush and let's say that you put in maybe the blue color One of the nice things about this one is that it's so realistic to the fact that if in real life If you colored or blended two different colors of paint it changes the color of it So when you have blue and yellow it does make a little bit of a green color and as you keep on adding a little bit more of that yellow you can see that's going to add a little bit more of the green now the last hidden feature will be inside of pen up and then right after this we'll head over into the settings of the s pen now my favorite thing about pen up is that it's a little application that if you do drawings or imagery or coloring it's a way you're able to share all of your artwork it's kind of like instagram people can follow you like you and they can also save the images of anything that you draw now if you go inside of pen up you hit on the very bottom and you click on drawing now inside of drawing this is where you're able to go over here and you can actually add a background image so let's say you want to select one from the gallery so we're going to go over inside of the camera and let's do luigi now with luigi with this one you want to bring this down and then you're able to hit on save. Now this is a way that you're basically able to have a couple layers where you're able to go inside, you can color, you can draw, outline and do everything else. So right here, I'm just gonna kind of match this little uh, color of green. Let's say that we go with blue because he has a little bit of blue eyes. We're gonna go with a little bit of black. Now I'm not gonna do the full entire thing. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of a little view of what would happen. So this one is actually extremely fun. My son loves this feature. It's a way, you know, to kind of get their artistic skills up. It kind of gets them a little busy. It distracts them, everything else. You have a full color palette over here as well too. So if you want to get on white, you'd be able to go up here and really just take your time. Now, if you actually go through every single thing and you take the time, you go through, you draw and do everything else, um, you're able to have the end result be what you drew and colored over top of this image. Now, let's say that you want to see what it looks like. You can hide the background image. You can kind of see what it's about to look like. And it's a way that you can also make sure that there's nothing that you're missing. Now, again, you'd be able to get up extremely close and personal. You'd be able to get extremely detailed, get it exactly the way you want it to. And then when you are done and complete and finished, you can remove the image by the left hand side, hit on delete, and then this would be your image. And then once you hit on done, you're also able to save it and everything else. Now, for you guys to see the complete end result of what it would look like if you took your time, you went over all the different lines and the coloring. My son did this. He's eight years old. It was super fun for him to do this, helping out his artistic skills, keeping him kind of busy. Here was an image of Bentley. I was able to take a picture of him and actually outline him and color him in. And we also did the same thing with Minion. Now that we have completed the Bluetooth S Pen remote function settings, along with all the functions, we've also gone over a couple of the different hidden features, tips, and tricks. Now let's go over into the S Pen settings itself 
all the settings that we're kind of known and used to from before. If you pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon. This is where you can hit on advanced features. And then on the very top is the S Pen. Now, just so you guys know as well, that quick settings of the S Pen remote is also inside of here as well. Now, if you want a faster way of going inside of the S Pen settings, just simply hit on the air command click on the settings icon and you're right back there. Now, air view, this is a way that you'd be able to hover the S Pen over the screen. So if you'd like to check out what's happening in your calendar, you can hover over a date. If you wanna quickly see different options for the pictures, you'd be able to hover over an image. You also have scroll down, you also have scroll up. And what happens if you were to be sent a link in an email or text, hover over that link and it'll show you a quick view. Now, an example of the quick view is let's say that we hover over this link right here, which is talking about my YouTube channel. It'll give you a little snippet of what it would send you too. Now to go over the feature of the image for the air view, if you were to hover over, you have the option of edit, share, and delete. So if there's a picture you would like to delete, you go inside of it. Instead of you hitting on the delete on the bottom, you can just do it a little bit faster by hovering over and hitting on delete or even sharing it. The next setting is going to be with direct pen input. Now direct pen input is that if you're at any point in time inside of a text message or anywhere where you're able to actually do a little bit of a typing or your keyboard would pop up, if you hover the S Pen over the area of input, you will see this little T icon. When you touch on that little T, this is where you're able to do a writing text and it'll put it over into text form for you. So let's say that you do, hey, um, bro, what's up? Now my handwriting is not really that good, but it'll still pick it up. And this phone is still brand new, so it is still learning the handwriting I do, but it's still accurate enough to pick up my little chicken scratch. And then if there's any of these words you wanna get rid of, it's kinda of like the old classes you took with English, where if you do a little bit of a swipe through the word, then it will be able to delete it. The next setting is self-explanatory. It is the pointer. It's, it's a way that if you wanna see that little pointer when you hover the S Pen over the screen, there's a little bit of a small dot. It just depends if you want it to be on or off. And this one right here is actually brand new for the Galaxy Note 9. This is where if you'd like to have the S Pen signature color when you're doing screen off memo. Now, when you go off and you buy these different phones here, if you go for the Galaxy Note 9, that is the ocean blue color, you will have that signature yellow pen. Now, if you go out there and you get the lavender purple Note 9, the S Pen for that one will also be lavender purple. But when you're using the screen off memo, it'll have a different color. So let's say that we wanna go over a little bit of what screen off memo is. Your phone is off, it is locked, it's in your always on display. And let's say that you take out that S Pen because you need to make a note extremely fast. But you don't wanna unlock your phone, get into it, open an app just to write something down that's just simple and quick and easy. Now you're able to little do a little bit of a jot down. Maybe you gotta go out there and get some milk and eggs and, and bread and everything else. You can see here that it is yellow. Now, if I turned off the signature S Pen color, it'll actually switch it to kind of this like white or grayish color. It's kind of boring. You can't really see it as well. The yellow pops out much more. So this setting here for the S Pen Unlock, this is actually one of my favorite new additions to the Galaxy Note 9. You are able to have it turned off as a don't use, or you are able to unlock it with the S Pen Remote. So what you are able to do is that if you've already previously unlocked your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 with any of your credentials, with the PIN or password, maybe with your iris, fingerprint, whatever the case, as long as you are already in your phone and then you took out this S Pen, you are now able to unlock your phone. So what I mean by that is this S Pen is already out. I've already unlocked the device by any types of those means. And you can see here that the phone is now locked. Now, if I hit on the S Pen button just one time, it will be able to unlock it for me. Now, this one is not really the best and most secure way of unlocking your phone, but it's one of those things that's really nice that maybe if you are using your phone, you set it down, more than likely you will be within you know, vicinity of the phone. Maybe you went to the restroom, maybe you went to the kitchen, maybe your son or daughter is drawing or whatever the case, and the screen times out after one or two minutes. It's a fast and easy way that they're able to get back into the phone. But here's the thing as well. So when we talked about it's only able to unlock after it's already been unlocked. So now the S Pen is inside of the phone. Um, and now let's say if I try to take the S Pen out, and maybe if I would like to hit on this button, it's really not gonna do anything other than pretty much try to still make me unlock the phone. So here we are, even within the screen here, if I hit the button one time, uh, it's still not going to unlock the phone and it actually asks you know, for the credentials. Now, once you do place in the credentials and then the phone does basically time out, now I am able to actually unlock the phone by pressing the button because I've already given it the credentials to have it be unlocked because I should be still around the phone if the S Pen is out of the device.
And then here is the shortcut. So this is what happens when you pull out the S Pen or what happens when you touch on the Air Command. What applications do you want to pull up on that little circle? So if you tap on the Air Command, you'll have all these different shortcuts. Now the other thing to let you know too is that through this menu, you can actually change where you want these to be placed in this little half circle. So if you press and hold on Live Message, then you can bring it up over here. Or let's say you do Screen Write, you can move it over here. You can also move it up to Delete and you can get rid of it. And then you can also add a different shortcut just by hitting on that plus icon. Now this one right here is just the setting if you'd like to have this floating icon turned on. If you turn this off, it really takes away a lot of the functions of the S Pen. So I would highly suggest just keeping this floating icon on, but you are able to place it anywhere on the screen of your choosing. Now this right here is the removal of the S Pen. So would you like it to either do nothing? Would you like it to create a note or open air command? Most people will have it as the normal open air command or do nothing, unless if you take a note every time you take out the S Pen, but I use my S Pen way too often, but I'm not taking as many notes as me just using the S Pen. So I have mine set up as nothing because if I do want to use something, I simply hit on that little air command circle floating icon and I'm able to use it. Now this next one is dealing with the alarm. Now there is no speaker that is on this S Pen here, but because Samsung does have Bluetooth within the S Pen now, I wouldn't be surprised if in the future they would put a small little uh, microphone or a little bit of a speaker so that you can have a little bit of a chirp happen for you to find the S Pen if you lose it. But what this does is that if you start walking away and the S Pen is not in the phone, it'll do a little alarm or a little vibration on the phone. It's noticing you're walking away, but the S Pen is not placed in and it'll give you a little bit of an alarm. Now power saver this is if you would like to use a different s pen but your s pen is already in the phone so what i mean by that is let's say that i place the s pen back into the phone itself it notices that an s pen should not be used and then this one right here is the stedler digital pen this one is my favorite s pen that's ever came out and right now you can see that i cannot use it but if I go there and I turn off the power saver, now it's not trying to notice if the S Pen is placed in there for me to use a different S Pen. So it's just kind of a fun way if you do want to use a different additional accessory to use with your phone, just basically turn off this power saver, then you're able to use it. But again, when it's turned on, you're not able to use a secondary pen. And if you guys are interested, I will place a link for this in the description below the video. You can click on that, take you directly over into Amazon, linking you directly with this digital S Pen, you'd be able to purchase it. And then the one thing I do like actually about this alarm is that every time you take out the S Pen, it'll let you know when was it last detached. It'll let you know the time and the date. So you can see here that it's 10, 15 a.m. And that was right when I just took this thing right back out of the phone. So that is a really nice feature. I'm super glad and happy that Samsung has done that. And then below there is just going to be the feedback of the S Pen and the phone. So it'll let you know, do you want a little bit of a sound to kind of pop out when the S Pen goes in and out for the detachment and insertion? And then also the vibration. The vibration definitely lets me know that I put the S Pen in all the way. So now it is charging. So I would at least suggest keeping the vibration on. And now if you'd like to learn more about the S Pen features, that'll be some of the things that I'm not covering in this video, which is Translate, Bixby Vision, Magnify, as well as Glance. You can click on any of those options and you can learn just a little bit more. Then you can also learn a little bit more about the S Pen, a little bit more about Air Command and everything else that I pretty much have gone over, even live message, which is super fun. You're able to draw and make your own gifts and send it to people. And then you can also contact Samsung. So I believe that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys do want to learn a little bit more about some of these other S Pen features, since this one is inside of Air Command, I will be going through all of these in a separate video so it's not crazy long so i hope that you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up also don't forget to hit on subscribe if you have not subscribed already it's this big little red circle right over here on the very bottom left hand side click that also hit on the bell for notifications so you get notified of all my future videos for the galaxy note 9 share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and outside of that i'll see you guys later